Hi, I'm Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am teaching you the control engineering in the control engineering about a plot. Till now, I have discussed the graphical method. Now, without graph, how you are going to obtain the answers? You are seeing in by using this problem. Okay, I am not using the graph. Oh, sorry, I am not using the graph here, but I will obtain the answer. This is the process, the same procedure I will follow it here. Okay. And directly I will take here. I will replace replace S yes by G omega here. I will replace here. And directly I am replacing. Is equal to 36 1 plus 0 0.25. Sorry, 5 G omega. It is yes, huh? It is yes. It is yes. Divide by g omega all square 1 plus 0 0.05 g omega 1 plus 0 0.05 g omega next i will go for finding control functions or current frequency these factors this is CF file that is control current frequency for factor 36 36 it will be nil for 36 it will be nil corner frequency will be nil for constant next for this term next first I will go for this one or you can go this one 1 plus 0 0.2 G Omega for this one again uh, for this one you have to write this value and WCTC is nothing but 1 by T you have to write T is nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.2 it is nothing but 5 radian per second 5 radian per second next what we have to write I am writing here J omega raised to minus 2 I have to write because it is at the bottom I have to take at the above ok because of square, I have to write minus 2 here. Otherwise, in normal cases, I have written as minus 1. Now, for this one, the slope will be nil as per the procedure. Next, this value I have to write 1 plus, 1 plus 0 0.05 g omega raised to minus 1. Raised to minus 1. Now, here, W T C or omega T is nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.05 is nothing but 20 radian per second. Similarly, this value 1 plus 0 0.01 G omega raised to minus 1 W T C is nothing but 1 by T 1 divided by 0 0.01 is nothing but 100 radian per second. I will go for these factors in the descending order I have to write I have to write in the descending order I will write in the descending order first is 36 oh, sorry first is uh, factor 36 it should be nil and next is this one g omega raised to minus 2 factor will be nil this is nil next this is phi is there 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega phi radian phi then I will go for 20 and 100 1 plus 0 0.05 j omega is to minus 1 20 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.01 j omega is to 100 now slope plays an important role for slope this is value is important for constant the slope will be 0 for 0 that will be 0 for here the slope will be n into 20 here n is nothing but 2 it becomes what 40 but it is minus minus 40 and this become 0 minus 40 minus 40 Okay, because it is n here, therefore I am substituting two value here. 
if it is cubed 3 out if it is 4 you have to write 4 here 4 into 20 you have to go next here 20 there is no square term or anything else here but positive 20 it is positive because it lies above here therefore I have to take positive 20 here if it is bottom I have to take negative okay 20 0 minus for minus 20 minus 20 it becomes minus 20 0 minus 40 plus 20 it becomes minus 20 next for this one again minus 20 here again this one is also minus 20 plus minus minus 40 plus 20 minus 20 is nothing but minus 40 minus 40 plus 20 minus 20 minus 20 is nothing but minus 60 now we are focusing on the magnitude here this part it is nothing but 20 log 10 36 here minus 40 log 10 omega because of 2 it is nothing but 40 next this one 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 omega whole square in this form it is in this form you have to take positive because it lies above here if it is below you have to take negative this value I am writing here next minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.05 omega square next minus 20 minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus this value 0 0.01 omega whole square I have to focus over the face angle this is the face angle these are the values for face angle here for constant k the face angle will be 0 for here it will be face angle 90 when n is the square 2 therefore it is nothing but minus 180 minus 180 negative because of here it lies bottom it lies at the bottom here because it is minus minus next for this term here tend tan inverse my, sorry for this one it becomes positive tan inverse 0 0.2 omega divided by 1 why it is positive because it lies here above if it is bottom then you have to take negative sign here now next is negative minus tan inverse 0 0.05 omega by 1 next minus tan inverse 0 0.01 omega by 1 90 percent of problem is solved here next just add the magnitude and phase angle now this is the magnitude in this problem I am not using any graph I am directly I am solving this problem the magnitude m is nothing but 20 log 10 36 minus 40 log 10 omega plus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 omega whole square minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.05 omega whole square next minus 20 log 10 1 plus 0 0.01 omega whole square now we know that every time the magnitude crosses zero line 
we have to find out this GCF value. We know this is a zero line which crosses this part from positive to negative or negative to positive but every time it crosses at zero. If I consider zero this part then we will obtain the omega value. Omega value is nothing but this is your omega value. This is the omega. This when we have taken in the graphical method 0 0.01 and so on, you will obtain this omega value at this point. Now, how to find that omega value? In place of m, I will substitute 0 with the help of calculator. Now, first I will write this term 20 log 36 minus 40 log alpha x close bracket plus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.2 alpha x square close the bracket minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.05 alpha x square close the bracket minus 20 log root root 1 plus 0 0.01 alpha x whole square close the bracket alpha is equal to 0 I will substitute the value as 0 shift solve is equal to now you will get the omega value that omega value is nothing but which crosses this 0 line it is a perfect answer you will get. If you go for graphical, some error are possible, but with the help of this one, 100%. It take a time. The answer for this one is, omega is 7.90. Now, this value will be 7.90. That means, GCF is nothing but 7.90 you got this value now ok now keep this one then we are going for the face angle face angle now GCF we got it now we are going for the face angle this is the face angle this is the face angle I am multiplying this face angle now face angle phi is equal to minus 180 plus tan inverse 0 0.2 omega minus tan inverse 0 0.05 omega minus tan inverse 0 0.01 omega in normal case we will we have found that normally the face angle every time it crosses minus 180 it moves in this way here also you have to find omega value this we call as a PCF phase crossover frequency this is the gain crossover frequency so what is the value of omega when 180 is there every time we are drawing this has reference line as a 180 and this one as a 0 in the previous videos here we will see that every time we have written is minus 180 if if it is a square term is above the behavior changes if the square term is below the behavior remains same now in place of phi I will substitute 180 here I will substitute 180 here with the help of calculator now minus 180 minus 180 plus tan inverse 0 0.2 alpha x minus sorry tan inverse 0 0.05 alpha x minus tan inverse minus tan inverse 0 0.01 alpha x alpha sol minus 180 I will take it shift sol is equal to you will obtain the value of omega here you will obtain the value of omega 
some errors occurred here just wait a while minus 180 plus shift to tan inverse 0 0.2 alpha x is equal to minus shift tan inverse 0 0.05 0 0.05 alpha x minus shift to tan inverse 0 0.01 alpha x close the bracket alpha is equal to minus 180 shift solve is equal to we got the same value everything is fine here 180 is there tan inverse is there 0 0.x tan inverse 0 0.05x minus tan inverse 0 0.01x is equal to minus 180 everything is same here even though we are not getting the answer directly what is the reason shift alpha is equal to you are not getting this value exactly where it cuts shift clear 3 all minus 180 oh, minus 180 plus tan inverse 0 0.2 alpha x close the bracket minus tan inverse 0 0.05 alpha x minus close bracket minus tan inverse 0 0.01 alpha x close the bracket alpha is equal to alpha is equal to minus 180 shift can answer it should be what's the problem occurring here everything is fine here minus 180 Everything is fine, even though it's not getting it. Minus one eighty plus tan inverse zero point two. Zero point two is there. Alpha x is equal to minus tan inverse. 0 0.5 alpha x minus shift tan inverse 0 0.01 alpha x close the bracket alpha is equal to minus 180 shift can answer will be the answer has to be around 37.41 
the answer is this PCF value will be 37.41 PCF value PCF value now PCF is nothing but 37.4 now this is the diagram if you normally if you draw a diagram it will appear in this way omega is nothing sorry GCF is nothing but and one more M value is nothing but it appears in this way something it appears something in this way it appears if you extend this part this is your GM part if you extend this part this is your PM part PM part okay now we got this value PCF we got it GCF we got it after getting this value okay after getting this value substitute PCF value in the case of Omega I will substitute this value here then you will obtain G GM value I'm substituting here in place of here for GM GM is equal to 20 log 10 36 minus 40 log 10 37.4 plus 20 20 log 10 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 into 37.4 whole square minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.05 into 37.4 whole square minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.01 into 37.4 whole square Twenty log thirty six minus forty log thirty seven point four plus twenty log root one plus zero point two into thirty seven point four whole square close the bracket minus twenty log root root one plus 0 0.05 into 37.4 whole square close the bracket minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.1 0 0.01 into 37.4 whole square close the bracket the answer for this one is the GM value the answer for GM is minus 21.33 db this is the obtained one because it is minus it indicate it leave it will be here there it would becomes what minus of minus it become positive 21.23 db if you go for graphically you will obtain the value for this one is 18 db 18 db will obtain graphically is small because the counting is there only even number there you can try it roughly as uh, directly because it moves 4 4 here okay now similarly if I place GSM if I treat this one value as a Omega I have substitute here then I have got the GM value same way if this value it treated as Omega and substitute in the face angle you will get PM value now phi is equal to phi is nothing but now we are treating as a pm phi is equal to 180 plus tan inverse i'm substituting this value here i'm substituting this value here in place of omega in place of omega i'm substituting this value in order to get pm value pm value okay tan inverse 0 0.2 into 
सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो माइनस टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो माइनस टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन इंटू जीरो सॉरी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो यू विल गेट पी एम नाउ माइनस माइनस वन एटी प्लस शिफ्ट टू टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट टू इंटू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो माइनस शिफ्ट टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इंटू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो माइनस शिफ्ट टेन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन इंटू सेवन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो द आंसर विल बी द आंसर विल बी हियर नाउ वन फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फोर जीरो This is the answer here. They are saying it, but we have to measure from the one eighty here. Therefore, we have to write minus minus one eighty minus of minus one eighty. That means plus one eighty or to it. Now it becomes what thirty one point five nine. This is the answer here. Thirty one point five nine degree. If you go for graphical method. The answer is thirty-five. This is for graphical. But analytical one, you will get accurate answer. You will get accurate answer. You will get thirty-four year graphical. This is the simple way finding the analytical one. But the calculate plays an important role. Each and every where you have to place a bracket properly in order to get the proper answer. Both are positive here, therefore system is stable. I am Santosh.